Take your shoes off first. All 50 million of you. <laughs> <laughs> Get ready to laugh because today we're breaking down some of the funniest scenes from The Simpsons. That's right, folks. I'm Mark Magstead, local real estate expert here in San Diego. Let's bring on the first clip. Hmm. Hey guys, <laughs> it's your favorite YouTube family vloggers, The Simpsons. Coinstar bought us a new house, and we're gonna give you the grand tour. Come on in. Take your shoes off first. All 50 million of you. <laughs> <laughs> the Simpsons, 50 million subs. Man, let's go. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that subscribe button. <laughs> I mean, you gotta love it. Us YouTubers, especially like the celebrity YouTubers, they're always going and touring homes. They're reacting to celebrity homes, reacting to mansions, cribs of the week, all that good stuff. I actually did one to YouTubers homes. Check it out in the link below. All of it is sponsored, you know, TurboTax, this, that. So let me know in the comments below, would you love to have a house that was sponsored by all these different things that you had to promote and do that, but you'd have all this cool stuff? The rock climbing wall, how cool would that be? I have seen a rock climbing wall that this dad built for his son. It was about 35, 40 feet high. It was in the backyard. It was this killer little location like on a canyon. They had about an acre, so it kept going down. Pretty cool. Let me know if you've ever seen a really cool climbing wall in a house. Now we can't tell you where the new house is located because we value our privacy. Which you know if you watched our last family therapy sesh where Marge begged me to stop filming our therapy sessions. Video link in bio. You know, you gotta love it. Marge and Homer are talking about filming their therapy sessions. My wife and I, we've never filmed any therapy sessions, but we did film a show, My First Home, and I have a feeling you're gonna see a clip or two of this. So if you can, dig it up, it's great. <laughs> this is my favorite room because the kitchen is really the heart of a home. Also, because a robot cleans it. And check it out, the refrigerator blends into the wall. I mean, you gotta love, Homer's looking fly. You know, he's got the crusty, the clown, <laughs> mini suit, shorts look. Marge is loving that kitchen, especially with the Roomba coming up and over and getting all the crumbs and whatnot. So they're living their best life for sure. No more tedious seeing your refrigerator all the time. That is kind of the trend. I have a, a, a wealthy client and he's kind of like, man, I, I just miss the old school handle. Half the time I'm pushing the wrong side, I'm pushing, I'm... So anyway, I'm sticking with the handle for now. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below. Handle, no handle for the fridge. Come on, we want to show you our favorite room. <laughs> this is our screening room. Theater rooms are, are absolutely amazing. I have a couple friends that have them and they laugh because they say they don't get used nearly as much as they should. Obviously you want it dark for the movie theme. Kids tend to not want to go down there. They're always watching it in the living room, family room area. I've seen a couple where they actually sat probably 40 or 50 people. These big loungy, beautiful seats, popcorn machine, bar, candies candy display so like you walked into a beautiful movie theater with the reclining chairs and the guy said that yeah we usually watch about a movie once a month or so in there i'm like so you have a one million dollar home theater in your house and you go down there once a month okay but, you know must be nice <laughs> it's also where we shoot our confessionals <laughs> it's cool that dad doesn't have to work nine to five anymore we just have to post 15 videos a day after homeschooling, we're free to do fun kid stuff. Zoom calls with our fan club in Dubai, giving Lamborghinis to the homeless. Sometimes I just chill in my room, recording cameo messages until my voice gives out. <laughs> I can say that I've never seen a confessional in a house. Not to say that there aren't, but I know that we have the real world San Diego, and they obviously have a confessional. I know at one point there was, the house was located down on the water in Bird Rock. I don't know where the latest season is because I don't watch it anymore. <laughs> but since the real world was filmed there, I guarantee there was a confessional that was in the house there. Hey, let me know who's your favorite YouTuber in the comments below. The half-assed approach to foundation repair. Hello, I'm Troy McClure. You might remember me from such instructional videos as mothballing your battleship and dig your own grave and save. 
Now, over the next six hours, I'll be taking you through the do's and do not do's of foundation repair. The foundation of your house is the bottom of your home. That's the support structure for the bottom layer of your property that you attach all the stem walls to, you attach all the cross beams and everything, but that is the guts of the house. You need that for your house. There are times that if you don't do compacting of the soil correctly, you don't do soil testing, you can pour a concrete foundation and or a raised foundation. If those particular pillars, the cement pillars, and or your foundation is not laid properly and the soil is not compacted properly, you can have some shifting and that would cause the cracking. Thus, foundation cracking repair. We've seen that a lot. It's unfortunate. There are some and it gets pretty detailed, but you can do some that are an epoxy fill. Otherwise they have to jackhammer that out and re-pour the concrete. Or I've seen times where they actually jack up the house and they re-pour the, uh, the, the footing. Hire yourself a contractor that specializes in foundation repairs and, a, and or a soils expert. Ready? Ready. First, Patch the cracks in the slab using a latex patching compound and a patching trowel. Hand me my patching trowel, boy. Hmm. Now, do you have extruded polyvinyl foam insulation? No. Good. Assemble the aluminum J channel using self furring screws. <laughs> Install. What do I do After in case? After applying brushable coating to the panels, Wait a minute. you'll need some corrosion resistant metal stucco lath. Wait a minute. If you can't oh, find man. metal stucco lath, uh huh. Use carbon fiber stucco lath. Oh! Now barge the lath. Homer and Bart tackling this, they, they figured, hey, let's go get some tools, let's get some information. We got this big crack behind us, we're gonna fix this. Marge is gonna be so happy. Regardless, it's challenging. I, I know that there's been times where we get Ikea stuff delivered, we open up the box, and all of a sudden you're looking at all these screws, you're going upside down. Thank gosh for my wife, Mary, she's incredible at those things and has the patience. I'm the organizer declutterer, I tossed stuff away. Unfortunately, I did toss away a set of screws one time, so I was digging through the trash uh, to find that. But more or less, foundation, electrical, plumbing, any safety type stuff, don't do it yourself. I mean, there's some people that are incredibly handy. There are people that have worked in those types of industries that you could probably branch off. But for someone, for example, like myself, Homer, pay the money and hire someone that's a professional. So talk to me, have you ever, whether it be a Ikea box, you're building a bookshelf, man, what a pain, and or like a home improvement project, got halfway through, through the box, kicked the directions, <laughs> and it said, I'm done. Picked up the phone and called someone. Let me know in the comments below. And let me know what other housing scenes from your favorite shows you want me to react to next. Also, make sure you hit the subscribe button and smack that like button for more videos like this. Thanks so much for watching.